Well, the country stops to thank and salute our veterans for their service this weekend and on Monday especially. They sure do, Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. Well, last night I had the honor of hosting a celebration and a fundraiser ahead of Veterans Day. It's called U.S. Vets, and they specialize in giving homeless vets a second chance. And they have documented a significant decrease in the number of homeless veterans living on the street, a 50% drop in the past five years. Last night they celebrated how far they've come and and some local veterans who have had their lives changed for the better were honored. I went from living in a car to 1,400 square feet. I, I'm still in awe. I went from crawling to walking to finally running. It's a great story about not just struggling, but also surviving and overcoming what, what she had been through. Shalimar, the executive director in Anna, a veteran who said she was living in her car and put on her military uniform in the back of her car that was her living room. 13,000, making 1,300 veterans have gotten jobs. And U.S. Vet says their future plans, they want to open a new campus that would include a wellness clinic. That's planned for the next couple of years. Last night, the community really came together. Again, at that event, we raised $160,000 for U.S. Vets Las Vegas. What a great event, yeah, Nate. Yeah, it was awesome.